welcome back to my class of digital computer fundamentals i am ma'am j lingdong we have learned in the previous video how to convert a decimal number to binary now we will study the conversion of decimal fraction to binary conversion which means that we learn to convert a number which has a decimal point and convert it to a binary conversion let's take an example say 25.35 so this number has a decimal point 25.35 we will divide this into two parts first is the decimal part 25 and the other part will divide it as 0.35 the first part 25 a decimal number we will divide by 2 2 into 12 is 24 and we have a remainder so we give here a 1 next 2 into 6 is 12 we have a we don't have a remainder so we give here a 0 2 into 3 is 6 no remainder so again 0 2 into 1 is 2. We have a remainder, so we give you a 1. So this part of the answer is, the decimal part is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now let's look at the fraction part. In the fraction part, we have 0.35. So we add here a 0 ahead of the decimal point. 0 0.35 into 2. Why into 2? Because we are converting it to a binary number. So let's look what is the output of 0 0.35 into 2. 2 into 5 is 10. Carry over 1. 2 into 3 is 6. Add with the carry, it becomes 7. 2 into 0 is 0. Now where to place a decimal point? Here we have 0 point after 2 places 3 and 5. So here also we count 0 and 7. Then we add a decimal point. So the output of this is 0 0.17. Now we are not done with this. We have to continue the multiplication and take up to 4 steps so that we can at least 4 or 3 decimal places. Now whatever is the number here, it may be 1.70. If it is 1.70, still we will take the number as 0 0.70. If we have 0 0.70 also, we take before the decimal point or just add a 0. If we get 1 here also, still we need to add here a 0. So 0 0.70 into 2. Let's see how much we get. 0 0.70 into 2. 2 into 0 is 0. 2 into 7 is 14. Carry over 1. 2 into 0 is 0. Add with this carry over we get 1. Where to place a decimal point? After 2 places 1, 2 add a decimal point. So we get here. 1.40 now in the second step you can see we have a one point not a zero point even if we have any number here we should always consider as 0 0.40 so what is the answer of 0 0.40 into 2 2 into 0 is 0 2 into 4 is 8 2 into 0 is 0. Where to add the decimal point? Again, after 2 places, so 0, 8, we give a point. So here we get 0 0.18. Some of the students can stop here, but it's always good to at least take uh, 4 decimal places. So one more step, 0 0.80 into 2. How much will we get? 0 0.80 into 2. 2 into 0 is 0, 2 into 8 is 16, carry over 1, 2 into 0 is 1. So we get here 1.60. Now 
we can stop here because we have the number at least up to four decimal places. Now, which part is the answer? The answer for this is to always consider the number before the decimal places. This time, we take the output as from top to bottom. So, the output before the decimal points is from top to bottom is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, how do we combine these two output? So, join together. Join together the output of the first part and the output of the second part for this particular number 25.35. So, we get 11001 for 25 and for this fraction part we get 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this is the final output of the decimal conversion of 25.35 to the binary number of base 2. I hope you are clear with this decimal fraction conversion to binary number. See you again in the next class. Thank you students.